ladies and gentlemen, coming live, Radio 1 Dallas, checking in. You know, we're going to start to start with saying, never stop, never sell. All I right. agree with that yes. statement. Yes. All right. Yes. Now, we also know that the main man in the building, coast to coast, a mixiology, doing some mixiology. He's a mixiologist. for a living. Now, we're here <laughs> behind the scenes, Hennessy, Cognac. Now, it's levels to Cognac. I'm pretty sure you know yep. that. Take, can you give me a little little insight of what we're working with? Yeah, so cognac is is a really interesting product because so many people look at it and they just see, you know, brown spirit and, and what does that mean? And all brown spirits are really different. And cognac, you know, where, where whiskey starts as sort of a semblance of beer and then becomes whiskey, cognac starts as grapes. So cognac starts as wine and we're distilling wine. It takes about nine bottles of wine to make one bottle of cognac because distillation at its very core is, is concentration of flavor. If you think about it like you're cooking, you're kind of boiling off what you don't want yeah. to strengthen all the flavors you do want. And that's kind of the grape themselves. And then we get our color from going, like whiskey or anything like that, into barrels. So at Hennessy, we use we have a really dark looking cognac in VS uh, because we put it in new oak. So similar to bourbon, it goes in new oak, extracts a lot of flavor from the barrel. Flavors it's getting from the barrel are, are things like vanilla uh, and spices and some kind of like uh, apricot notes and things like that, yes. coconut. Okay. Well, which, so. For a new beginner, you know yeah. saying, what would you recommend or what would, you, what would be the go-to to kind of get them, you're at a party, you know, a yeah. uh, Christmas party, so it's a holiday season, or Labor Day, let's look at Labor Day, Labor Day, holiday season. I think any holiday is going to benefit from this. Facts. But yeah, if you're, um, if you're already a dark spirit drinker, then I would take you into, if you're a bourbon drinker, I would take you into Hennessy VS, because Hennessy VS has new oak, so it's got that spice that bourbon's got, so it's got the sweetness from the grapes, that bourbon has sweetness from corn. If you're more of a scotch drinker or you like things a little bit more neat, maybe something like VSOP because it doesn't go in that new oak. Scotch doesn't go in new oak. It's got more of a, a integration of the barrel and the grape. If you're a white spirit drinker, if you drink vodka or Blanco tequila or light rum or gin, I would say Hennessy Black. Now the black bottle makes it seem more intimidating than it is, but it's actually a much lighter spirit than, uh, than even VS. Like I can pour you some and you see it's much lighter than the VS. Because this goes in old VSOP and XO barrels, so a lot of that heavy spice from the barrel has been used up, yes. and it really uh, just shows off the grape side. So you get a lot of like vanilla and light fruit. Okay. Wow. All right. So we want to mix. I guess for I guess for I mean male female is kind of the same thing. You want to boot you like a soda, a juice, or orange. So juice. yeah, an easy mix I think for summer is like a little bit of soda on ice. It's going to lighten it up. Because cognac came from that white wine side, gotcha. so you can show off those lighter flavors by adding water to it that distillation took out. Or we can go into an easy mix. I'll show you one that's, uh, that I love during the summer. So when you're thinking about, we talked about Hennessy Black and talked about all those lighter, uh, lighter other spirits. If you think about vodka and gin and Blanco tequila, they're all going into you know lime and a margarita or light rum as like a lime daiquiri. So I'm going to make something like that. Now when we're mixing, we try to put the... Uh, least expensive ingredient in first, just in case we screw up so we don't have to dump out, you know, the good stuff. Okay, I like that. So I'm going to do three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Then I'm going to do three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. Now simple syrup you can buy uh, at grocery stores or at liquor stores, um, or you can make it at home. It's just equal parts sugar and water. So if you took a glass, filled it with sugar, took another glass, filled it with water, put them in a pot on a stove with a little heat, you would have simple syrup in no time. So now I'm doing an ounce and a half of Hennessy Black. So this is just two parts cognac to one part lime and one part simple syrup. Now we're going to add some ice to a glass and ice to our shaker. How long have you been doing what you do? I've been working with Hennessy for eight and a half years, but I've been working... Uh, behind a bar for 19 years. I'm not sure how I feel about that because that's now more than half my life. <laughs> I'm not sure whether that's a really good thing or yeah, a really, I think it is. I'm having fun, yeah. so that's good. There we go, there we go. And that's why I definitely switch up the holidays, kind of Christmas is a little kind of winter, winter month versus, you know, still hot in Texas. So um, Does Texas ever get cold? Every now and then, you might get a, you might get a, yeah. <laughs> I want to and I'm out. So wow. then you can garnish with a wedge of lime. And there you go. Let's give that a try. Mm. Oh, wow. Right? Bright, light, super easy. Three ingredients. Might even double on that one. 
Yeah. So if we want to go for one of those later holidays, something like Hennessy VS with all that spice works for those kind of uh, holiday times, you know, in and around December, January. Might get a little bit colder here. I'm from Toronto, get super cold there. So you want to warm your soul, you want that spiciness of Hennessy VS. Yes. So I like the old fashioned. The old fashioned can be made with whiskey, can be made with brandies, can be made with cognacs, can be made with rums. It's kind of up to you. But if I'm making it with cognac, I'm going to use less sugar than I would with uh, a whiskey. I'm only going to use a quarter of an ounce, so just a splash of simple syrup. You could use a little bit of sugar cube, anything like that. Um, I'm also going to use some bitters, so Angostura bitters. It's a little bit of spiciness to it. I'm going to do two dashes of that, and then two ounces of Hennessy VS. Now, because it's not December right now, I'm going to put this one over ice because it's really hot out, so I want to enjoy it that way. And this cocktail is a stirred cocktail. Now, the difference between a stirred and shaken cocktail, you saw I shook the first one because it's supposed to be refreshing and bright and it's got fruit juice in it, so we can see this foam that kind of happened on top when you shake it hard. You're trying to break up the ice, dilute the drink more, so if you want a refreshing drink and it's hot out, you generally probably want a shaken drink. But if you've had kind of a hard day at work, yeah. you might want a stirred drink because it's not going to dilute. We're not breaking up the ice. It's not going to dilute it nearly as much. It's just going to chill it. And you're not going to get that foam that comes out of, you know, shaking it hard. Wow. Shake it, not stir it. that kind of the same? Exactly. Wow. So that's the old fashioned, but I garnish with an orange twist because orange to Hennessy is like bacon to a chef. You know when you're in a restaurant, you're like, this tastes amazing, what is it? And yeah. it's like inevitably bacon. <laughs> yeah. This will bring out the taste of the cognac every time. Wow. Mm. Oh, wow. Right? Yeah, yeah. A little okay. bit of orange brings out that fruit, but you still have the spice. Now we can go for one that, that I really love called the Vucare because I'm a huge fan of uh, New Orleans. New Orleans is a, is a town that, with its French heritage, um, really created a lot of cognac classic cocktails. So they created the Sazerac, they created uh, something called the, um, uh, well, the Vucare in this case. Um, they've created a number of them over the years. And so I'm using Hennessy VSOP Privilege. Uh, it's called Privilege because the very first person to ever order VSOP was 201 years ago and is the Prince of England. So because of that, we always say Privilege on the label, and Hennessy is the original. So. Uh, I'm actually going to add the Hennessy first because everything in this drink is uh, is alcohol. So uh, you know that's fun, but uh, it it it, uh, it can hit hard. So we're going to put this one on ice as well. I'm going to add Woodenville Rye to this. So what I love about the Sazerac is that, or sorry, the the Vucare is that it's both like a rye Manhattan and a cognac Sazerac, two classic cocktails, and that yet yeah, this is itself a classic cocktail. So I have rye, I have cognac, I have a little bit of sweet vermouth, which is made with uh, some grapes as well, but it's not gonna be as strong as the rye or the cognac. I'm gonna add three quarters of an ounce of this. It's gonna tame it down a little bit. I'm gonna add one dash of the Angostura bitter for the spice, because that would go uh, with the rye. And then the Peychaud bitters, this is the bitters from New Orleans. And all these bitters, the orange bitters, the Angostura bitters and the Peychaud, you can easily get it at uh, liquor stores. I've got two dashes of the Peixot bitters because it's a little bit lighter um, than the Angostura bitters. And then very last but not least, Benedictine. So Benedictine is just a simple kind of liqueur. It's got a little bit of nuttiness. It's got a little bit of uh, brightness to it and herbs and spices. So with that, we're going to add ice to the mixing glass and then ice to our rocks glass. We always want different ice in both. It's a lazy bartender that just shakes something and pours it in the glass because you've already damaged all that ice, you've broken it up, you've used it for what it's there for. You need fresh ice so you don't dilute the drink any more than you have to. Wow. So, oh, this one. So the Vucare is kind of sometimes hard to pronounce when people look at the name on a list, but it stands for French Square, which is what if you look on a map, what the French Quarter 
looks like on a map. And so it used to be called Bucare when they had a lot of French in the language gotcha. uh, down there. And so I've actually seen some bars put this on a menu uh, and just call it an old square. Um, but just like a Manhattan, just like an old fashioned, just like a Sazerac, it's got a lot of beautiful flavors. Uh, and I think it works really well. His radio shows are going to be great. Oh. <laughs> Off the chain That's a studio audience at home. Hey, honestly, that's a good one, right? It's like a different. But each one is a different approach. Like yeah. one of them's like, here, take this. No one's like, here, try this one. But it's more of a. You know, yeah. This one right here. Each one of them, it's. I mean, that's an important point because you can't just, VSOP is older than VS, but you can't just age VS longer and get VSOP. It's, a, it's, it's stylistically different and has a different approach to, to what it is. So, you know, if you've maybe had Hennessy VS before and it wasn't right for you in that moment, maybe it was the wrong drink for you at that time, or maybe you just have a different flavor profile. Maybe black is going to be the right cocktail you know, cognac for you and make the right cocktail. Maybe VSOP will fit your needs more uh, than VS. So, you know, and, and as we age, maybe we want to try new flavors. We want to try different things. So it's levels to this. Exactly. The black, after, after watching this video, the black, that's definitely like the opposite. So yeah, fast forward, zoom back, check that out. Wow. That's, yeah. I have a favorite. All right, I do have a favorite. What's your favorite? So far, thus far, it may be for that one. What I do, being a hype man, MC, got to be kind of, you know, I like, the, I like the shaking mode. Yeah. And then do a little bit, I mean, not, not too there, because this will definitely get you, this is more of a smooth, relaxed, you know, that's a, that's the night, this is the start of the night, this mm -hmm. is the end of the night. Mm -hmm. It's the nightcap, it's the one you enjoy. I bet put that one down. Yeah, yeah. sitting yeah. down, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. But the limited BS, what's, uh, what's some bonuses about that one? What, the VS? The Patona, yeah, the limited, oh, the limited yeah. Edition. So in storage, you'll see uh, the Patone um, bottle. And it's, so Hennessy is, you know, we're made from wine. So wine is different year to year. If you're using a grain, you know, if you're using corn to make something, if you're using, you know, rye or anything else, like most whiskeys are all one rye or one grain or another, they're going to be 100% the same distillate every time. Grapes change year to year with the weather, with you know global warming, with all that stuff. And so we need to make sure your VS tastes the same every year. We need to make sure your black tastes the same every year. Your VSOP tastes the same. So we have an eighth generation master blender. So the same family for eight generations has been blending the different distillates together to make sure that you, know, you as the consumer see the same quality every time. That's an art form. That's his art form, that's our art form at Hennessy, and so we've always supported the other arts, whether it's musicians or whether it's uh, street artists or whether it's you know visual artists in any other form. And so the, the Artist Series bottle, we do a different one every year, and Pantone is this year, and I couldn't be more excited because I think like that 80s, 90s stylistic is, yes. is really kind of hot right now, uh, and that's been his art form, that's what inspires him, so I'm super excited. If you see that, it is Hennessy VS in the bottle, it's just got a flashy new uh, new jacket. The new jacket. Yeah. That's it. Like like the Michael Jackson, the red jacket. Yeah, that's the thriller. thriller. Yeah, yeah. yeah even it's still Michael red. Jackson. Yeah. Just a, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. New tour. All right. I like it. I like it. I love it. Heck yeah. So to the to the one that said, man, I'm gonna stick to my regular Hennessy. What's the reason to try like uh for the ones who just kind of came up on the the original, you know? Yeah. So if you came up and you and you love VS, you know, all the power to you. Like that's the thing. But you know. I would say you don't eat the same thing every day. Gotcha. Maybe you do, I don't know, but I don't. So if you want to try something new, you want to expand your horizons, like you know the Hennessy's good, so you know Hennessy Black's gonna be good, it's gonna be a different flavor, so try that. You know, it's like trying a new sauce on something that you love, or trying something like that. Try, try your favorite cocktail with Hennessy VS gotcha. with one of the others. See if you like it better. Maybe you don't, but it's still Hennessy at the end of the day. Sure. So you still know the quality's gonna be there, uh, and the flavor's gonna be there. Makes sense. I was at a store, uh liquor store the last remote and we mixed it with uh, apple juice now, oh and I see VS and apple juice is amazing it's apple Bro, cider that was like mind blowing my, yeah, yeah. mind blowing yeah. so you can also take whatever uh, one of these you have at home or whatever one you pick up at a store you can go to Hennessy.com and you can find out a number of different recipes you can say you know what I've got a bottle of black I don't know what to do with it um, I like refreshing drinks and the website will kick you out you know five cocktails that yeah. 
that you might love, that you might be able to try and see what you have at home at your home bar and, and figure that out. Or go to a bar near you and test your local bartender. <laughs> test them out. There it is, man. We're here. We appreciate you for coming cool. through, man. Thank man, you very man, much guys. for having me. Thank you Love for coming it. by. Bring some more of those secret tips. But you said one more time, those nine bottles of... Nine bottles of wine get condensed to become one bottle that we then age in barrels for at least two years, but up to eight years for these guys and up to 15 years for the VSOP. Amazing. That's Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. 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 Cheers.